everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. Yes, please. Everything looks right, Pathfinder. Find the override, apply that hardware, and the remnant will fly the same vector as Meridian. And hopefully, victory. Ready? I was born time, ready. And we're due. This is for us. Let's do it. Tempest, we're going in. Quiet so far, but something's different. Orbital scans identified a separate energy grid within the tower. Meaning? Defenses here may not be on our side. Get it, Pathfinder? Remnant ships have lifted off. They're following the override vector. The scourge is moving. But they're getting through to something. Meridian, Pathfinder. Is that a planet? It looks constructed. Data strange. It's saying it's hollow. The self-contained seed world, it is the heart of the vault network, and when reactivated, every connected planet will be affected. It is the means to make Helios a home, Pathfinder. This great moment, for which I only take partial credit, was a long time coming. Congratulations, Pathfinder. A great day for us all. Struggle to reach yours. door. And thanks to your memories, I know who else has one. Another reason to take the Hyperion. Fall to darkness, Pathfinder. You are almost worthy. Get everyone to the med bay. Hold there. What the oh. hell is that? I have no idea. Hello, Scott. Sam? How are you? What's going on? All we know is we're being overrun. Cat forces are sweeping the ship. They're looking for you. Scott, the Pathfinder needs your help. This is crazy. She's closing on Meridian. 
The Archon has severed my link to your sister's implant. If basic function isn't manually restored, she will die. What? Scott, please. Proceed to Depot K4 to secure a weapon. Son of a... What? Info, Sam. I need something. The Archon isn't stealing the Hyperion. He wants you and me. Your implant is the same as the Pathfinder's. He'll use us to control Meridian, and your sister will die. The Archon will kill her? No. Losing me will. I am sorry I can't help you fight. I took over too much of your sister's implant, and losing me will kill her. So when the comms dropped, she did too? Hurry, Scott. Wait, what? <sighs> I swear I run like Shrek. Hold them! Scott needs to get to that maintenance access! You can't fight them! Sam, the captain won't last. What are we doing? Manually send a reboot signal. It will reset your sister's- Okay, we're here. One pulse, Scott. That's all the Pathfinder needs. And it probably alerts the Archon. He'll know where I am. I am sorry. Me too, Sam. Me too. Liar Shuri's! Die Sam again? Sam with it. We need to get back. Wait, Sam's. The door's remnant. You need Sam to do anything. We need to get back. <laughs> okay, that looks like it hurt. Are you sure you can. We need to get back. Ryder, stop! You're going to kill yourself! I can do this! Damn. You sure you can keep going? To the Tempest! We have to move! on standby. Ryder needs treatment for something. We're getting reports from everywhere. All remaining catch ships are on the move. It's all the Archon. If he takes Meridian, he'll destroy worlds. Starting with Eos. He thinks he's one. Pathfinder. It kind of feels like he has. Wait, I don't need that shit, Suvi. Ryder, there you are. You need to stop doing this. Nice to see you too. News on the Ark? Still headed to Meridian with a small flotilla. You got the last signal before the Archon locked it down. We're not letting that stand. Be ready to move. Wait, we need a plan. Stop ship. Kill Jerk. With what? He has Sam. He has ships. But I am still able to... do something. He's got the Hyperion. That's how many thousand hostages? How many worlds does he destroy if we don't move? And how many do we save if we get ourselves killed? 
Well, we have to do something, right? I know, but the Tempest is one ship and she isn't even armed. What do you mean, Tempest isn't armed? an impossible thing. Can you keep that up? Have them fight for us? Ket are tough, but Remnant hit hard. The promise of that could inspire others to join in across the cluster. We have a for real shot at this. Rally the troops for a last stand. We're not throwing anyone's lives away, but the Remnant give us a chance worth taking. Right? Right. Is this where I give a speech? <laughs> Ask you to die for me? No thanks. I say we shove the remnant down the Archon's throat. And maybe that buys us a chance. All of us. We get the whole cluster to pile on. Everyone in Helios has earned some fucking payback. Guys, give me just a second. Uh, my dad called me, Everyone and I'm gonna. Up, Pathfinder, but I need to talk. Meet me on the bridge. I don't know what a bridge is, but sure. Uh, anyways, I need to call my dad. Make sure everything is okay, and then I'll continue. So give me just a second. All right, guys, everything is fine. Uh, with my dad, he just wanted to let me know that he I has arrived in Spain really for his holidays. Locking it down back here. Board is lit and holding. Where's PB? Where's PB? No. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Can I... Fuck. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... Okay, never nice mind. Nice speech. You've inspired the entire crew. They're running around like monkeys getting ready for the big showdown. But not you, apparently. You inspire me, Ryder. In ways that are surprising even to me. I've got Remtech repurposed all over the place. And Pox souped up and raring to go. We'll keep you in one piece. I don't like seeing you suffer. Without Sam, it looks like interfacing with the Remnant hurts. A lot. Nothing a little zero-G float won't cure. Anytime. Never thought I'd see you blush. I forgot to do the randomizer for my it, squad. It's beautiful, isn't it? This weapon, it created life, and yet only I see its full potential. And I even have the means to achieve it. Using you. I saw you from my flagship in the Pathfinder's memories. You have an implant, and a connection. And with that connection, I'll take Meridian. And then Helios will surrender, or burn. You'll get nothing from me. My sister will stop you. <laughs> we'll know soon enough, because your Pathfinder is already here.
continue to defy your limitations. Impressive. You okay? He's crazy. If we don't submit, he'll use Meridian to kill everyone. That's why he took me and Sam. You say that as though I should feel guilty. Exaltation is a gift. Those who can't see that deserve to die. You still command, Remnant. But that began with the Sam and the Implant. And now I have both. I no longer need you, Pathfinder. But since you insist on interfering, I'll give you my full attention. Rider. I don't know which is worse, the Scourge or the Cat. The Scourge and the Cat. Callow, how close can you edge the Scourge? Too close? Why? Bring us in tight so I can group the Remnant. We're using the Cluster's biggest headache to our advantage. games anymore. You wish to force my hand? So be it. Unlike you and the Pathfinder, I do not require it. I have yours. You've made this much more difficult, Pathfinder. But not for me. What is that? Can't see the Hyperion. Extrapolating from last known position. It wasn't built for landing. We'll beat it down. Like it or not. Wherever the Archon goes to ground, that's where we're heading. Hot drop in five, four, three. Chase him with the Ark at risk. We'll guard the Hyperion. Kandros? Who's with you? The invitation was open. Unless you're refusing Kadara's help. We hold the cat. You secure Meridian. Let's find the Archon. Pathfinder? He's taken them. Captain Dunn? The core is lit up like Christmas, but Sam isn't talking. I think the Archon... Shit, I don't know what he did. But he has Scott. Whatever Meridian can do, 
He'll try to take it. We're not giving up. Not when we're this close. I don't even know where I'm at. Hard starboard. All power. Done. What is it? Done. Keep pushing. Go. That's not the Hyperion. Kenner deploying to defend the Archon. Get in close. Kendros, are you out of your mind? He's right. Mix with the ground troops. The big ship can't fire on you. Not sure we have a choice. That looked like a fucking spider. Debris incoming. Watch your heads. Structures ahead, Pathfinder, and major energy signals. I'm no Sam, but that's got to be some kind of control. must be inside already. He'll use Scott to make Meridian a weapon. We can't let that happen. Where's my crew? Wait. I'm alone? Are you for real? Why didn't you just spawn? That is just silly. Head dropship, heads up! Your own reinforcements on site, Pathfinder. The resistance is with you. Kadar is here too, remember that. Is it glitching? Watch out, Pathfinder. The big cat ship is coming back around. Keep moving. We can't let them stop us. I think it's veering off.
Hyperion. You take this to the Archon. Understood, Pathfinder. the Archon. I'll relay the layout to anyone following. Whoa, energy spike. The Archon is doing something in there. Standing by. Scott may need attention. Pacero are with you. 
Glad to have you. I don't know what There's that is. Nowhere else we should be. Bullshit, man. We're still fighting. Pathfinder, multiple system failures on the Hyperion. Damn it. Done? Done. Is there anything we can do? Stay out of our way. There's no pulling up. This is the captain. I need everyone to cry out. Go. 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 I'm rerouting power to all med bay inertials. I can give us one shot. Attempting to shield the bridge with biotics, but I can't get close enough. The sleepers take priority. All hands brace. And it's been an honor to serve. No! I am not understanding the Captain point Dunn. of the of that.
Do it. Secure the adaptation matrix. The Archon. Does he know he's broadcasting? He's in Scott's head. The Revenant not attacking. The hell? It's pointing? Trying to direct us? Do they do that? That can't be the Archon. Everyone see that? Doors closing? Someone's hurting us. Might be the Archon. Who else would it be? More doors. Maybe... Scott's found a way to help? Ryder, using Remnant hurts you. Prepare to repeat the cortical stimulus. Get out of my head! You are irrelevant. I will use your connection. God damn it! No, not liking this. We can't stop now. Not after done. No choice. Let's go. Look at all this. It's amazing. Never dreamed Andromeda would have so many wonders. Everything we've gone through, worth it for this view. Oh, now there's the no way us. a view would. What the heck, Vetra? Touchdown. And ahead. Meridian control. Long time coming. 600 years. Ready, Pathfinder? It's a gateway to everything we've been chasing. Never been more ready. Let's do it. The connection is ready. I can feel it. There. Meridian. The network. So close. We need to move. Come on. It was hit and miss. So determined, but so pointless. Your connection serves me. I know how it works. The mind is trained to think like the remnant creators. In this case, painfully. But I'm content to let him bear that burden. Whatever gives me Meridian, I will transcend what you pretend to be. You're out of time. I've matched you every step. You failed, Archon. You're the pretender. You learn by accident. I am the genetic inheritor of a thousand species. No more mercy. Kill them all. You never had mercy.
limits are perfection. Oh my goodness. He's not holding anything back. Hit them just as Can hard. I please stop? Pop it. No, 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 no. Shit, he has access. I can see the network. They are architects of life. Nothing. I made the cluster livable for thousands. No, you have led your people to their deaths. This is just a start, Pathfinder. Sam? Everything I still must enough but the more remnants you destroy, the more fractured the Archon's attention. What? Hold position, kill remnants. I'm on it. Sam, soft spot? The armored head, Scott. Let's open it up! We couldn't sit this out right now. You pushed now. too far. Too much at stake. Now you'll pay. I don't understand what's going on. Is too good for you. 
I rescind the offer. You were. I don't think that offer was ever sincere. Liam! Got it exposed! 
Lock it down. Interface now. Relay down. Tell me how to bring this all home. One more. This yes. is not the end. I have the Scott? network. Scott! We are out of time, Pathfinder. Hurry. Uh. Smile for the camera, babe. Sam's broadcasting, everyone's watching. They all want a nice big close-up of the hero who single-handedly saved the galaxy. What about you? And now they all- The mask? Die. The mask, what the heck? The helmet? Holy shit. Andromeda at least but a new Mass Effect is coming out I think hey Scott you beat me out of medical again how long not long weeks enough to Get started. Started on what? The Hyperion? Meridian? The ship is sound, but it'll never fly again. So it's being repurposed. Welcome to Meridian. Humanity's home. We did it, Dad. Are you okay? You and Sam? 
Our connection has been restored. I am once again able to help the Pathfinder activate Remnant technology. But does he still need to? I adapted to use Remnant without him, but it's not advisable. Dr. Carlyle estimates an 80% risk of further hemorrhaging. Further being the alarming part. For you and me both, Scott. Pathfinder, the Nexus leaders are waiting for us. Go on. I bet it's real important. It always is. Aw, sleeping like a baby. Where the fuck are we? Oh, okay. Failed. Contagion. I don't care. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. There's an epilogue. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angar. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. Sure. Meridian doesn't mean done. Ked are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshe would help solidify relations. They have ongoing civil concerns with the Rokar. Ugh, and we've a lot of unresolved issues of our own. Okay. This representative should be one of the people actually doing the work. First outpost, first ambassador. Bradley's my choice. Safe enough. Nothing disruptive from Meridian's opening day. Something by the book for once. Scott is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. What the heck, people? So, you were saying... Uh, squad and crew. Sam Cor. Ryder! Enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Kalu. The Tempest is getting some much needed service. I was underfoot, apparently. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors, not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. Thank you. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callow. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. The Tempest will be pristine by the time you're ready to go. Just point the way, Pathfinder. Alright, PB is the last one. Hey, Suvi. Meridian, huh? 
I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body, cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Legs seem Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Yeah, tell me you couldn't think of anything else to... Are you kidding? Hi. Wait. Is it the same animation? Look who it is. Oh, fuck off. Okay. That was bullshit. Hi. Hey, Ryder. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But, so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You wanna blow this hot dog stand? Just say that- Kalo just said he wasn't Kalo's ready! There somewhere, time went on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. I'm it's not fine, going man. anywhere you? with you. Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? Mess with somebody else's ship. And how about the Nomad? Just once around the planet. No. Ugh, guess I'll just have fun down here. Oh my god, Sky gives me the fucking creeps. Drac, what the hell? Pathfinder, sir. So formal all of a sudden. Ma'am. Ha! <laughs> Gotta have some standards after what we did. This place is something else. We did it. Beat the Archon and took his toys. Feels good, doesn't it? I sent out what's left of the Macmore Scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit him. Vetra! So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. You ready to get going? You've still got a lot to do. You know me, I'm always raring to go. Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Sounds like you two have a good arrangement. It's getting there. A little trust goes a long way. Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Hey. I don't care. Jellyfish! <laughs> so, this is how you all party. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame. Where are your textures? Don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. Ugh. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become. There are the <laughs> textures. I can't even imagine to think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. 
<laughs> Guess it worked out okay. Uh, Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. New beginnings. That's what I came to Helios for. And what I dreamed of. Yes. <laughs> new beginnings. So, let's get to it. Uh, Liam and Cora, right? It's overwhelming. I don't know right. where to start. Liam is here. Pathfinder, catch C for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Textures, Heard please. Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? He's exactly where he should be. I'm sure he'd disagree. So, you're telling me you're having trouble explaining limits to a rider? Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. We're still outsiders to a lot of people. But this... It's almost home. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork. Just to look at it. I feel you. Just... Ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. All's quiet. Okay, Vetra... Who? Pathfinder, here! Absolutely not. Where Maybe is Cora? Alright, Cora is here. That's I need new. to make a new recording, so bear with me, please. Hey, Ryder. How's Scott? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. That'll be exciting. Meridian rewrites all kinds of physical laws. Maybe they'll name a new law after you. Something about never staying in one place? This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Small steps, like you said. There's no rush to figure all this out. Right. If nothing else, Meridian gives us time. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. All right. Memorial. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll pay it forward, I swear. What is this? Arc Hyperion. Departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guys getting work. Please select a topic. Narrator guy. Babe. Hiya. Hey. Well, hello. Hello yourself. Eyes front. Try not to swoon. I want you. I want you more. I need proof. Soon. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda what? sent a congratulatory message. She was ankling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? Pot kettle? 
What am I going to do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. And that is it. Wait, what? It's still part of the epilogue? Are you serious? Obvious. Cora, are you okay? <clears throat> Making a quiet exit? It's no fun having the boss at the party. Have you asked? I wager that most would disagree. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home. Well, guys, um, it's finally over. I can finally put down this game and get to Hitman 3. Um, whew. But before thinking about 47, Diana, and whatnot, this game. I'm a massive fan, pun not intended, of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, because that is the... That is, that is the addition of the original trilogy that I've played. And it's incredibly well written. Incredibly voice acted. There was a lot of creativity in the setting, in character design. Well, for some species like the Yanar, for example. Um, and... I have a lot of love for the chemistry between the characters, the bonds that the game allows you to build with characters, even side characters. Um, I really like the Mako. I think the exploration in Mass Effect 1 is done, in my opinion, just right. Um, then Mass Effect 2 hit and I struggled to feel connected to the new team at the end I I can honestly say that Miranda has my hearts um, Jack that's right Jack Jack has my heart uh, as I was saying Morden of course Legion uh, Samara uh, I'm looking at my phone just so I don't f uh, forget any other names, really. Um, yeah. Yeah, the and then obviously, like, you know, Garrus, Liara, uh, Tali. I would say that with, with Liara, it was, like, progressive. Um... By, by Mass Effect 3, I just adored her. But anyways, I'm getting off track because... It's just Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition, or the original trilogy, whatever you... What, whatever... You refer it to. It's just phenomenal. And... In some aspects, each game feels dated, or I... Didn't like... A, certain... Aspects... But overall, it's just 
a phenomenal experience. In Andromeda, and I believe I, 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 I said this in one of the earliest episodes of this playthrough, uh... Corporate decisions doomed this game. Because the people that made Andromeda, they never played any of the Mass Effect games. And it fucking shows. The writers, every writer that had experience was either fired or quit. And so, people that were hired, this was their first job. And, like I said before, I don't think just because, or, I, I don't think that until you get experience, everything you do is gonna be shit. I don't think that at all. But the thing is, because this is not a new IP, this was supposed to carry on the legacy of Mass Effect and because there was no continuity let's say in the slightest it just in my opinion was just doomed and rather than delaying cancelling name it something else they went ahead with it. Um, I didn't even find Turians and the Turian arc, and I'm sorry. Um, one thing I like, for the most part, is the cast of voice actors. It's just that the script that they were given fucking sucks. It's atrocious. A lot of things don't make sense. A lot of things are super confusing that I, I, I wasn't able to follow what's going on. Um, and the script is so bad, so poor. I was just disconnected for the majority of it. Um, I know that when the game was released, there was a lot of issues with the facial expressions, animations and whatnot. It wasn't entirely fixed, as I'm pretty sure it's also noticeable in the videos. But that doesn't bother me at all compared to the the direction the story went, um, the direction that the characters went, I guess, because the only the only character that feels like they should in my opinion is Drac Cora gave me a vibe in the beginning that at the end or not even at like forget the end like she, it, it just didn't take much for the for her entire persona to kind of shift in my opinion um, then PB sometimes, or most of the times, is kind of like, like, okay, you are a ball of energy, and you're super, I mean, I don't want to call her young, although she, she is, like, that's a character trait, okay, she's just a young Asari, and it kind of, con not contradicts, but it's kind of like the opposite of Drac, which is the older one, um, and, and their dialogue is always based on their ages or their their perspectives of life because Drac is at the end of his life and, well, PBS centuries ahead of her, still. Um, so, yeah. But, like, PB, I feel, probably had the most baggage aside from Jal. The thing is, Jal, every fucking time he opens his mouth to communicate with teammates, 
I just wanted to vomit. I hated it. And it's so fucking annoying. I really don't want it. I really didn't want him on my team. At all. Um. It's kind of like Zahid. I don't want Zahid on my team. You can check my playthrough of Mass Effect 2. I wanted to fail. And I played... Or I made decisions in order to fail his loyalty mission. Only for him to be like... Or, or the game designed to be like, no matter what you do, he's gonna be loyal to you, he's gonna come join the crew. And I'm like, I don't give a goddamn fuck about this man. I, I never gave a fuck, I want him gone. But that just wasn't an option. And I get that with the crew so small. And okay, the Angara has a really big role in, in the overall story or the overall plot. Um... But honestly, get the fuck off, Tempus. Like, fine, you wanna... Okay, you have anything relevant, you just, you just, you know, you do a com. Or we do a video thing. Um, and this, and this leads me to another thing. The game design is fucking atrocious, man. <sighs> Go here to talk to this person. And now that you talk, you go to another different planet to have a conversation. And once you're done, you go to another planet for another conversation. And now you go back to the original planet to have a conversation. And it's like... Stop making me backtrack. Particularly for, con for conversations. How many times... Did Ryder and other characters get comms from other characters across the fucking universe? Why is the game forcing me to go back and forth planets just to have a fucking conversation? I fucking hated it. I already hate uh, backtracking as it is. But backtracking for fucking conversations... Are you fucking for real? Absolutely stupid. And then the whole thing, okay, interact with that. Okay, actually it's broken, so you gotta scan the glyphs. And then you gotta um, interact with the console again. And now the door is open. It's just kind of like... Uh, actually, we need to make the game longer. Any idea, guys? Oh yeah, just busy work. Constantly. And it just pissed me the fuck off. Um, yeah. I wish the, the... The loot system was more like Mass Effect 1. Where you can also give armor and weapons to, to your crew. I would like that a lot. Um, yeah. What else? What else? I just think that the game is fucking annoying for the big majority of things. Uh, Sam was beyond annoying. I can't even... Like, when, you, when you're driving and when you're running, Sam's like, Temperature's above normal. Temperature's something something. You better seek something something. Like, shut the fuck up! You have email pathfinder, and then you read... You, and then, rather than a calm saying, Hey! Uh, hey, I would like to talk to you. Do you mind meeting me? No, I'm sorry. If I meet them directly... No, no, no. I, first, I gotta read my email and only then go there. What? It's just, it's just a fucking mess of a game, um, unfortunately. And I didn't appreciate the dance thing at the end because... For a nod to Shepard's dance moves... That was way too short, and I really didn't appreciate that. And... Man, where the fuck are the Quarians? And why was there no creativity in character design? Also, the, the character creator, or whatever I'm, I'm supposed to call that, 
you know, like when when you're trying to customize your characters, so bad, so bad. Um, and yeah, like uh, Ryder is like Ryder is okay as a main character, in my opinion. Is just get rid of the twin, get rid of the dad, like. But like, it's just a fucking story, man. It just feels that they had an idea originally and then they tried to fill the game with more stuff and then they kind of lost track of what the goal was, what they were trying to do, and this is the kind of plot we ended up with, unfortunately. I think the idea of exploring a galaxy, galaxy, excuse me, or, or multiple galaxies trying to find a planet that can be uh, or or can receive multiple people and and be made their home I think that was interesting I think that was cool and I think okay we found a threat here or something's going on I, that could have been interesting, but it would have to be a lot more focused rather than a fucking mess of ideas. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's what um, I wanted to say. I think this game had potential. But a lot of corporate decisions just doomed it. Um, and I hope that for this upcoming uh, Mass Effect game, people kind of look at what is wrong with this game and the things they nailed across the Legendary Edition and that they couldn't... Um, excuse me, um, replicate here, and, uh, yeah. Above all, let it not be a chore. I think it, I think it's very hard to build a cast of characters and all of them have chemistry. I think that's very hard to do, and in the Mass Effect trilogy, that was done consistently. Maybe not with all the characters, and you know, different people like different things. Some people love Liara, some people can't stand her. Um, some people like Zahid, I can't fucking stand him. Um, you know, some people adore Grunt, I just tolerate him. Uh, because he's no Rex, and... With Drac, I got a bit of of Rex, and and I really and I really appreciated that. Um, so as long as the the next Mass Effect game isn't a chore to play like this was, I'm good. Um, all right, that's that will be it for me with Mass Effect Andromeda. I am not gonna play any more of this. I've been waiting for the end of this game for a long time now. Kind of desperate, really. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this was remotely entertaining uh, to watch. And I'll see you soon.